That is the important thing. We have to find solutions. We have to find solutions for customer. Uh, sometimes we switch. Ja, die Kunden sind ja immer unsere wichtigsten uh, Partner. Sometimes it works. We say, okay, what do you want? Uh, our specialty is individual counseling and, and helping a customer in making the ideal product. Okay, perfect. Automation, 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 automation. That is the question at the moment. To be more, get more efficiency. Then it's okay. do some special products. We, we tend to offer the customer special products which, which he doesn't get anywhere or everywhere. And some kind of special bindings, uh, higher quality print and so on. Uh, Hinman um, was founded in 1904 as far as I know. So we have a long reputation, and have a long, uh, good reputation in, in the market. We start uh, as an editor of a uh, yeah, local newspaper. And over the years, until the first 50 years, we come over book printing, to offset printing. And then we change the place, we uh, come here to Tempelhof. Uh, near the highway. We developed us uh, to, from book printing, newspaper, to a sheet feed offset printer. And now at the moment, we uh, are a combination of offset printing and digital printing. As you see here on, on, the, on the pictures in, in the background, we are a very old building. We're situated more or less in the middle of Berlin. Uh, but with very modern uh, machines. Uh, our specialty is individual counseling and, and helping a customer uh, uh, making the ideal product for him. Um, the Bathcom Group uh, was founded as a group of companies uh, which works together. You have a creative agency, you had an, a pre-press company, you had a printing house, uh, a post-press house, a bookbinder. And delivery, letter shop, and what on. That was uh, in the beginning for 15 years, that was 12 companies. So then it was uh, a little bit uh, bring together to 10 companies. And the target was to work more together to be more successful together. So that, was, that was the idea. I was thinking that we can make more from these. Uh, group and uh, we have to build it up and, and then we founded a company called Bescom Printed Digital Group and uh, at this moment so in 2008 uh, 2007 2008 that was a sales company part so and now it, it's a sales company which sells uh, which sells a uh, whole production range, not only print, so it have to be jobs with creative, with pre-press, with press, with delivery, um, fulfillment and so on. So that is our target in this, in, in this group. Um, but we have to say that in the future there will be more and more things from, from Bescom will be integrated in Hinemann. So uh, with this company we have the opportunity to make uh, selling especially in cross-media, and that we do also in the future in, in Pesco. But 
I'm the production manager of the digital printing at Hinemann. Okay, kannst du mal die Maschine fünf Minuten abstellen? We make shut down the machine five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, uh, I'm planning uh, the jobs. Uh, I have uh, two machines here, and for them, I plan every job uh, for three shifts. Uh, and I have also some uh, office people who uh, make the job tickets. And so I have to plan if everything is all right or not, and that every time a uh, job is on time. Yeah, the biggest challenge is to, to yet to get the right amount of of orders <laughs> in the business to, to be able to, to live from that, which is, yeah, as everyone knows nowadays, not, as, as not, not an, an easy task, but I think we'll manage. Where I see it, um, I mean, at the moment, we have to change us, we have to change us in the big, big part. So, so I mean, we will, all in the future, produce printing products, but we will more and more as a cross-media provider, uh, printing service, service printing provider, uh, with the main direction of cross-media products. So uh, especially that is the, the reason is that we go extremely forward in digital print. We are also uh, work in, in um, Companion management, campaign management, sorry, that was a German word, <laughs> in campaign management. And with software, uh, we use XMPy in the background. We have a long, good reputation in, in the market. But then again, a good reputation is something worse in the past, in the present, partly. And in the future, we have to work hard to, to make sure that the reputation stays that way. The future will develop in this uh, direction that we make more and more marketing things, more and more marketing products with an aspect of, of, of printing products. Yeah, I mean, um, everyone has a, a saddle stitch bind. That's an average bind nowadays or a, a perfect bind. And we do some um, open bindings and, and with, uh, with the flaps front and back and whatever. Everything is a little bit more special and a little bit, bit more unique. That's what we tend to, to work in. We produce a high quality on a high quality level um, uh, over a, all the years we have been producing nowadays. Because every, every printer is, is able to make a good quality at one day, but then again, uh, the day after, um, is he still able to do the same quality level? And we can do that, and we are sure. We have a lot of uh, printing houses also in Berlin who have uh, small Inigos, like the uh, 7800 or like uh, series two and so we are and so they can print with us together and they have the same quality of their printing and our printing sheets. We have the 7800 and the 10,000 who can print in the B2 format. Uh, we do it uh, first uh, time because we have a big HP Indigo and we want to print uh, also in the same level on the small machine. And the next press uh, doesn't print uh, in the same way and it doesn't print in the same quality. And so we have two machines now from Indigo that print in the same way uh, and nearly um, the offset printing. Um, we, as you see here we have Old buildings all around, uh, but that's the building. Uh, we uh, invest our money in production in machines, uh, printing machines, binding machines, and so on, and make sure we have the highest quality and uh, the modern quality, so we are able to produce uh, high quality uh, on an everyday basis. So we have uh, HP Indigo uh, for digital printing, and then we have offset printing, and we go for Heidelberg machines. Wir sind eigentlich eine Heidel, reine Heidelberg-Druckerei, wenn man mal von dem Digitaldruck absieht. Also wir haben äh, eine große Abteilung Offset und äh, die besteht aus einer Achtfarben. 
XL von Heidelberg, aus einer 5 Farm XL von Heidelberg. Die hat noch eine Wende nach dem zweiten Werk. Und zwei Zweifarben, auch von Heidelberg, die wir vor allen Dingen für Verlagsproduktion 1,1 farbig schwarz in aller Regel nehmen. Like cross media is the big thing, so uh, it's nearly like the same like big data. So <laughs> but it's also a part of thick big data. So uh, or it's, big data is important for, for cross media. I mean, for us, um, we we have the main direction of print products. What we can only focus not only on the production of a printing product. So it is necessary that we think around this product. So we we have to find ways for developing printing products. So the main direction of us is the combination of both. So we developed uh, a landing page for may, maybe we have a campaign so for a product or so. And important for us is that we say, okay, we develop the, the web part, we develop the printing part, we make a combination of both and we tracked it. We tracked it and we get the results of the uh, conversion rate exactly and we can change something in our, uh, uh, no, what is it in English, so the, our spoke, our language, have we changed something, is it successful, is it unsuccessful or so. And that can we make while the campaign, so that is the, the important thing for us if we uh, uh, speak over uh, cross-media products. And, um, I think online Business stresses everyone who doesn't do it himself. Um, to be honest, uh, we are not as probably not as much stressed as, as other printers in in our area, as I assume. But still, it, it touches us as well. And the only way to to make sure you can, you can um, survive in this market is simply to produce better products, a higher productivity, have uh, um, make sure that you deliver it in time, and and what you promise your customer, you have to to make sure that you can keep your promises. It is not only the added value for us to be printed on paper yeah, or make color uh, uh, on paper. What we have to look and what we have to search is the added value for the customer. So that is the important thing in thinking. Important thing in digital print is the content from the campaign because that are variable data print. And that is the most value for the customer and also for digital print and also for us. At the beginning, it wasn't it was not easy because uh, we don't have an indigo in this house before, and so it's a lot of work and it, it's a lot of uh, training. But now it's a really nice work with the indigos. The software is easy to handle this, and also the machine is quite nice. Yeah, we print uh, for normal customer, and we also print for other printing houses because they don't. Uh, they can't print in B2 format. Uh, sometimes we switch. Yes, we have uh, a lot of customers uh, who know the quality of the offset printing. And it's really difficult to bring them to the uh, digital uh, printing. Sometimes it works. We show them uh, one example and they say, okay, perfect, we use uh, digital printing. But sometimes uh, we print, uh, before we print uh, the whole job, we print one example in the digital uh, press and then the customer say, no, sorry, but I want to offset. We also have uh, a combination of, uh, of both uh, printing types. We, have, uh, we print uh, some flyer maybe in, uh, in offset because it's a large number of copies and then we make the personalization here in digital. We have papers uh, we print on both uh, systems. We print in offset and digital. And we have prime paper for here, for the uh, HP Indigos, but we also can uh, print some uh, types of paper who are not primed. It's better quality if it is primed, but uh, with some papers we are tested, we can print, but that's not a certificated paper. The most problem is uh, if here on the machine if you uh, print only black and white uh, for a long time and then you want to go back to four color jobs, then you have, uh, you have to change a lot of consumables. That's the only problem. But uh, if you can plan it right, then it's okay. If we print maybe uh, 10 or 20,000 uh, sheets only black and white, uh, then the machine 
dirty is not the wrong uh, wrong word, but it's it's uh, really difficult to bring something like yellow uh, back to the process. Uh, we have to change uh, the pip and the blanket, and because we are sometimes we have also ghost effects on the on the blanket, and sometimes we have to build up a color new. And yeah, the operators will do a lot of things. It is not only put color on paper, the, the preparing before, the handling of the data file, the creation of, 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 of the data workflow. That is the important thing for a successful cross-media campaign. And I have to say that um, we are not the only company which is going to the client and say, oh, we can help you for marketing things or other things. We make a campaign. Especially in Germany, it is very, very difficult in campaign management because we have a lot of risk restriction in this part of data files and so on and for personality. And, uh, but we have to say to the client, that is your target, that is your success, we have to combine it. So what we have to do for that, that we can catch these targets. So, and uh, I think it's step by step, small steps, but it will be grow in the future. Yes, we have three, we have three parts in Enemann for selling. So the first one is uh, standard printing. So is at the moment also the, the, the biggest part of Enemann. So with our turnover of nearly 60, uh, 17 million euro, uh, there is uh, in direct in Enemann a little bit more at 2 million euro from digital print, um, but it's only, it is also print. And the second part of our sales operation is uh, marketing solutions. So, and into marketing solution, we're thinking about um, cross-media uh, campaign management, but not only as a whole campaign from developing to distribution. Maybe also a small part in production. Maybe we think about mailings. We think about branded marketing portals so that we can make it easier for big clients. Most time they work uh, uh, in different countries in Europe or so, that we have one web portal they can order there from all over the world the products what they need, as a printing products what they need. That is also our thinking into marketing solution. And the third part is our uh, online selling, uh, of shop selling. So we have uh, more brand strategy there. So we produce a lot of calendars that is an own brand. We have a normal printing shop with, under the website of, 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 of Henemann. And maybe in the future, we're thinking over more marketing products. So we thinking at the moment over uh, static faults and so that is our target for the future. We as Hinemann are um, our main customer or the most customers are in Berlin and Brandenburg. Uh, we, we do have customers all over the world more or less, uh, but the, the main customers are in, in, in a greater area of Berlin. Uh, but I think we, we, we will grow more within Germany, yes, and especially our core market will still be Berlin and Brandenburg. I'm, I'm definitely about that. And then I think, uh, as we've seen in the last couple of years, uh, digital printing is growing every day and uh, offset printing, uh, the market doesn't get uh, easier. It gets a little bit harder every day. So I would assume that we have uh, more digital printing for the future uh, compared to now and less uh, offset printing.
the normal customer of, of, of Hinemann comes, he need helping and con consulting. He wants his products in a high quality in a very short time. That are the three points where the customer are comes to Hinemann. Most time we have a good price, a, a good pricing, but a lot of times there are better prices on the market. That is very normal. That, that is the way where I say, okay, the, the price is not the important thing why the customer come to us. Now, pricing is, is a difficult thing to, to describe in, in general because um, our, our difficulty is, is probably if you have um, middle uh, pieces of production because we have our digital printing for the smaller quantities and we have our fairly large offset printing qualities for the higher amounts of numbers we're looking for and our problem is more or less in the middle of that uh, simply because we, we, we are not able to we, we produce individually for every customer um, which also means we go in and, and have a look at his colors is the right color if not we'll add a little bit more magenta or whatever we need which an online printer is not doing uh, that means we we produce a better quality for the customer product but then again we are not able to 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 put the different jobs together on one printing sheet, which make us, uh, especially in this uh, middle quality, uh, middle number, uh, a little bit higher price. The strategy of us, very high quality, very speed or very fast production, and with uh, a lot of consulting moments to the customer. So I think we are, compared to the general printer, um, we do a better advice uh, upfront and we are able to develop a better print product with the customer together. Um, and then we are very reliable and we are able to, to print uh, the, the same quality several times. We have a lot of customers who have uh, periodic uh, products and it's very important that, uh, for instance, on page two, the, the big adverts from, from Mercedes-Benz has to look the same at, at, in every uh, magazine. Wir sind eigentlich eine Heidel, reine Heidelberg-Druckerei, wenn man mal von dem Digitaldruck absieht. Ja, man kann, kriegt also größere Formate, äh, dann aber auch in 16 oder in 32 Seiten drauf. Ne? Also das sogenannte Europa-Format äh, kriegt man dadurch drauf. Das ist also eine bessere Auslastung des Druckbogens. Ja, wir können dadurch äh, ziemlich kostengünstig auch zwei zweifarbige Produktionen machen in einem Gang. Deswegen haben wir eine Wende nach dem zweiten Werk an der fünf Farben. Das hängt einfach damit zusammen, dass wir aufgrund der Konstellation, Produktionskonstellation, Verlagsproduktion haben wir sehr viele zwei zweifarbige Produkte, auch in hohen Auflagen und deshalb diese Kon Konfiguration. Es gibt überhaupt keine Nachteile. Sie ist in der Geschwindigkeit etwas eingeschränkt, also maximal äh, 16.000 in der Stunde. So, das ist aber der einzigste Nachteil, den wir nicht als Nachteil empfinden. Da gibt es eigentlich keine buchbinderischen Anforderungen, das ist einfach nur die Auslastung des Bogenformates. Unser Ziel war, dass wir also auch Formate, die größer A5 sind, 32-seitig drucken können, also 17,5 x 24. 5 ist da also 32 Seiten möglich. Das war eigentlich der Grund, warum wir in dieses Format gegangen sind. Die 5 Farben ist zwei Jahre jetzt alt, also zweieinhalb konkret. Die 8 Farben schon ein bisschen älter, die acht Farben haben wir jetzt, glaube ich, seit fünf Jahren. Also es wird in der Regel wieder so sein, diese Konstellation, acht Farben und auch eine fünf Farben. Die werden wir also, solange es Offset noch gibt, immer wieder mal tauschen oder drehen, wie wir sagen. Bei den zwei Farben sind wir uns noch nicht sicher. Wir werden eventuell beide zwei Farben äh, ersetzen durch eine einfache Vierfarben SM-Maschine von, äh, von Heidelberg, die dann auch eine Wende nach dem zweiten Werk hat. Die SM-Maschine, das ist ein 102er-Format, etwas kleiner, reicht aber für unsere Zwecke völlig aus. Ja, das ist für uns sehr wichtig, dass wir also einen automatischen Plattenwechsel haben, sodass wir 
in der Regel einen Jobwechsel in 60 Sekunden realisieren können. Wir können also wirklich in 60 Sekunden Platten wechseln, auch an der A8 fahren und dann in weiteren 30 Sekunden wieder weiterdrucken. Das ist also für uns sehr entscheidend, da wir sehr viele Aufträge haben mit sehr vielen Platten wechseln. Also in Spitze pro Auftrag gibt es die größten Aufträge, haben über 300 Platten. Und da ist das sehr entscheidend, dass man schnell Platten wechseln kann. Ja, ja, das ja, Steffen? Ja, ich, ich, ich drehe gerade hier einen Film. Ja, wirklich, ich muss hier Rede halten. Fangt mal schon an. So, so sorry. Ja, aber ich, ja die äh, größte Herausforderung für ja, mich als, als ja. Produktionsleiter und Disponent ist in aller Regel immer alle Kundenwünsche zufriedenzustellen. Ja, das ist also ein ganz großes Problem. Wir haben also viele Kunden, die auch an der Maschine zum Andruck kommen wollen sich ihre Druckbogen angucken wollen und das zu realisieren, die kann man ja in der Regel nicht nachts zu kommen, das ist eigentlich da das die, die größte Herausforderung. Wir schaffen das in aller Regel immer. Ja, dann darf ich nicht ein, nicht ein verkniffenes Gesicht ziehen, sondern ich muss es irgendwie realisieren. Ja, die Kunden sind ja immer unsere wichtigsten Partner. Von den Kunden hängt immer alles ab und die müssen wir zufriedenstellen. The important question is, what is growing in the future? <laughs> and we look over on the market and say, okay, we have a status quo of offset. So uh, we can say we make 15, 15 to, uh, million euro a year in offset. Aber if we see on the, on the digital printing part, then we can see we start in 2000 and, I mean, it was eight or nine with the reintegration of color digital print in the offset presses. And we start with zero, uh, maybe 20 or uh, maybe 100,000 euro a year or whatever. And uh, now we stay six or seven years later, now we stay over two million. Um, and we can see it will also growing in the future. Uh, it will not so much grow like the, the past time, the last three years or so, where we have every time a double of uh, uh, turnover in this bird. And uh, we can see growing also or grow also in the future. It's the cost, really. Uh, the quality is uh, really interesting in this point, and also uh, the quantity of sheets per hour, because we have three shifts and we have to print a lot of uh, examples. And also, it's uh, what the machine can print if there are some special things like the white printing on the 7800, and things like these are important. And for the next steps, for the next future, I will say hardware is not so important. Um, the most important for me is at the moment, and we started this year, two months before, a complete new workflow in pre-press, press, press uh, post-press, and especially also for delivery. Mm -hmm. So that is the most important thing. Uh, my focus at the moment is on pre-press and delivery, yeah, letter shop and so on, because it's important to be very, very fast on the press and to have to bring the right product in the right time on the right place anywhere on the, on the, of the world. That is the most important thing. So the next investment, or now in this month, we start new investments for software, for pre-press, automation, 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 automation. That is the question at the moment, to be more, get more efficiency and, and also in the letter shop. So yeah, and we will, also go in the next time in new machinery. But it is not so important like the process at the moment. We, we, we have a plan for the next five years or so. And our target is in 2020, we want to print the half of our product in digital print. That is our target. And that is, it's not a must. Then comes the question, is it possible to grow organic from us? So, or isn't it, is it possible? I mean, that's two things. The, the first thing is um, why we have these targets. The targets we have is we say, okay, at the moment the offset part is stable, but the margin is going down. 
So also for us, that is normal. That, that is offset market. We, <laughs> so that's the normal way. Okay, we have, that is it, and we have to find a way. And the second one is, if we say growing in a digital product, then we have to use this growing. We have to think, okay, what is our part on this growing? What can we do? Uh, which product are interesting for us? Which product are, that is most important, are interesting for the market? And what is, uh, a, is a good combination for our production units? So, and uh, I mean, the first step to to build up uh, the electrophotographic digital printing, other with the 10,000, with the 7,800, and other with our DD set, where we have, at the whole, we have nine digital printing machines here in this place, with our company, daughter company, DD set. So, uh, this is a good basic. Uh, but I mean, to come to 50% of 70 to, uh, million euro, it have to go in, in inkjet. So it's necessary. But then you have to see, okay, what of your products are interesting for, 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 for ancient printing? Uh, and what are target markets parts, which are also interesting for, for ancient print? So, and it is not the good way to change a product from an offset press to a digital press. That is, okay, now he has more efficiency and there I have a hole. So <laughs> that is not the best way. We have to find, um, products uh, or we, we have to find uh, customer which are interesting in these new production uh, opportunities and then we have go to in, in discussion with him and say okay what is interesting what do you want what is your step in the future where what's your developing in the future more to direct to your to your customers or more uh, yeah overall customers what is the important thing for you and then we have to find solutions and that's the important thing we have to find solutions we have to find solutions for customers so and i mean um, I'm really sure that Offset will not die in the next 10 years or only in the next 20 years. But it will be reduced and exactly, especially the, the margins will reduce. And then you have to say, okay, that is possible, that is not possible. That you have to go in, 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 in web print or what for big companies like Fly Alarm or whatever. Uh, that is the best way for this product. And uh, But in the same way we have to say, okay, how can we develop the digital print? And there is a lot of opportunity. You have to see it, you have to think about that, and then you have to catch it. <laughs>